J Drone here. What's going on, guys? This is the B6 Lite. All of us generally use a B6 for charging. This is the Lite. It is small. It is portable. Bamzo. There it is. Check it out. This is an iPhone 6. It's half the size of an iPhone 6. <laughs> and iPhone 6s are small. Um, so this is what you get in a pack. Exactly what you see there. So how are we going to charge off of this? It's really simple. Our power supply is going to go in there, which we are going to be using a LiPo. And then to charge off of it, that is our positive and negative. And if you can see there, it is an XT60. So does that mean we are limited to charging on XT60? We're not. I'm going to show you how to charge off of other things as well. And this right here is what you would plug in your balance lead to. But let's get started. Um, I'm going to show you exactly how to use this. I'll try to keep my hand out of the frame here. That way you guys can see. So basically right there. Nope. We are not plugging that in. We are going to plug in our power supply, which we're going to use a 4S 1500 milliamp an hour battery. Now, we are only going to be demonstrating smaller batteries. If you are using larger batteries, immediate plug in. That's what we get. Really clear readout. Um, I'll go over that in a minute. But like I was saying, uh, if you are going to be using larger batteries, you need to charge with larger batteries. You need to have bigger capacity batteries to charge bigger capacity batteries. Um, and all this stuff here has minus this one. This is a Dean's connector, but I believe I have a Dean's connector um, adapter that'll go to an XT60. And just like that, I mean, you, you can see the setup right here. That's, that's what's powering it right now. But if we're gonna charge bigger batteries, we need to use bigger batteries. Very simple. So we're gonna slide this back over here. You can. You already know what's in there. What maybe we'll put it like that, that way you can see it. So, with this, how are we going to charge this off of that? It's an XT30, and that's an XT60. It's really simple. I've made this adapter, and this adapter is soldered. It's a female XT30 to a male XT60, and I've soldered it, and then I've also wrapped it in electrical tape just for good measure. And we are going to simply just plug this in here bam okay and we are going to plug our battery in here just like that and as soon as we do that we can see here we are now reading i'll try to zoom in on that we're reading 7.43 volts so if we just want to directly charge this we can do so if we want to balance charge it we then need to plug in our balance lead on the right pin, you need to be all the way over to the left. Far left is your negative. And then we can then press this button. Very simple press. If it wasn't a LiPo, we can change that. It is not three cells. This is a two cell battery, so we need to go down two cells. Balance charge, that's what we're gonna do. And this is 2,200 milliamp an hour battery. So we can go up to 2.2 safely. And then we just long hold this. You get that notification. You can see the bars on the battery going up 24, 25%. You can see the current is 2.1 amps. And I'll zoom in on this. That way you guys can see it again. Get a good look at that right there. It's a really nice display. Um, really simple. Again, this thing's half the size of an iPhone 6, and the iPhone 6s are pretty small. Uh, the only thing that this is missing that I would have liked to see, but again, it's small, maybe I'm looking for too much, is uh, cell reading. If they could have gave us a cell readout to show that our cells are balancing and whatnot, that would have been great. And again, you could see over here, 28%, um, you have a battery jumping up and down. To stop the charging... I thought that's all you do. Let's see here. How do we stop the charging? Just, okay, so you don't long hold it. You just press it, um, and that'll stop the charging. So what we're going to do, we're going to unplug this, and then we are going to show you how to connect a different battery that is not an XT60 or an XT30 because I have an adapter to make XT30s go on here really easily, as I just showed you. So what if we have a battery... Like this. What if we have a battery like this? Or uh, a battery like this? 
these are lossy connections. There's no way you're plugging that lossy connection into that XC60, right? Well, there is. There is a way that we're going to do that. And again, this cord here is what they gave us. Um, it's basically an extension of that port. So what you do is you go ahead and plug this into there. And now we have an extension wire. Um, what am I going to do with this extension wire? Well, I have lots of chargers. And one of my most recent chargers hooked me up with one of these. And as you can see, there's a Dean's, or not a Dean's connector. Um, this is the Dean's connector right there. That's Dean's. Um, this is a JST connector. You can charge lossy off of JST if you have them trimmed. As you can see here, I have that trimmed. Then you're just going to match positive and negative up. But how are we going to connect this with this? Because that's what plugs into the original one. Bamzo. I've made a tap. <laughs> I've made an XT60 tap. Um, and these right here, if you have old SEMA batteries, they're great for plugging over top of these if you need to. Um, they just plug right over top of them. So all we're going to do here is we're going to take this wire that came with it. We're going to plug it in this tap off of this here. We're going to then find our JST connector, which is right here. We are going to take this battery, make sure positive and negative match up. Whoop. Positives on top, negatives on bottom. We're going to go ahead and plug this in. And immediately, you guys can see here, we now have 3.8 volts reading. So now we can go ahead and press this. We're on LiPo. We can go down one cell. And we are not balanced charging. We should just be charging. We don't want to fast charge either. So let's go up. Charge. No, we don't want it on 2.2 .2 amps. We can do it safely on 1 or 0.9. Then long hold. And you can see here, it's charging pretty quickly. That's a one cell battery that's charging off of a four cell battery. And we're using 0.8, and that's probably a 600 milliamp an hour battery. So we're charging a little bit high. Um, we really should only be charging 0.65 if it's a 650 milliamp an hour battery. Really cool product here. Um, it's not expensive, and again, it's super portable. And you're not limited to XT60 as I'm showing you. We'll just let that charge. Any of these connections, you can buy these on Amazon if you don't have them. And you can get boards too. You can get all types of boards for this. That'll come off of uh, XT60. That'll come off this balanced lead here. Um, you, that way you can charge your Whoop batteries, whatever. Guys, link for this will be down below. This was a really in-depth look at this. I absolutely love it. I love the size of it. Um, this is simple throw in your shaving bag and go type stuff here. Um, the battery itself this and of course i'd have all my other stuff in another bag that i'm taking with me guys if you haven't subscribed smash the subscribe button questions comments concerns down below this is what it is sky rc b6 light check you on the next video